who, what, where, when, why, and how? Six questions we're setting out to answer today on At Your Leisure. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Join us as we hit the trail at the first big OHV event of 2015 and find out not only what it is, but why you should mark your calendar and come with us next year. Then Darren and Jill Kinder are on the pavement showing off what you can expect from a motorcycle trip through the Catskills in New York. Follow them through some amazing scenery. Coming your way now on AYL. the who, what, where, when, and why episode of At Your Leisure today. Hi everybody, I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth, now you have the who. <laughs> and uh, the what, well, we are overlooking the Beaver Dam Wash uh, in the very southwestern tip of Utah. Within eyesight of us is Arizona and Nevada. And we are at the Tri-State OHV Jamboree. It's the first big jamboree of the season. So we got it's, the what covered, right? Right, and the weather is gorgeous. It's a little windy, but it's keeping the sun, or not the sun, but the, the dirt out of our eyes. So it's perfect. Sun still <laughs> is in our eyes, yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, uh, Corey Toon is also okay. part of the WHO. He's with us today on this adventure. We're just a little faster than he is. <laughs> we'll be catching up in a few minutes. So um, let's focus a little bit more on the what. Well, right now we have the 2015 Tri-State ATV Jamboree. We have, at this point in time, over 500 participants that are down here to enjoy the trails, go out and see the scenery. We have 21 different trails that we guide on. They're all really enjoyable. The popular number one is Mount Carmel Run, down through the river to Mount Carmel for lunch. Get a burger there and come back. A lot of people love it. That's probably the number, number one ride in southern Utah. We just got looking around and uh, all of the beauty here and the, and the possibility of all these beautiful trails. And we decided that we wanted to have that as a tourist attraction and we figured it'd be a good idea and it's been a great thing. When we first moved down here, people said, why would you go to southern Utah? It's all desert, but we found out differently. We just enjoyed getting back with uh, our riding with these people and we've had a lot of fun, met a lot of new people here. We've got people that that have been to this uh, jamboree every year. And, and they come from all over the country. A couple of years ago, we had a lady that came three years in a row from England, and it just keeps growing. It's a family event. Tonight behind me is the uh, ATV rodeo, what we call it. It's a blind man race, where the, the driver is blindfolded, and the passenger tells them where to go. And it, it can be very uh, amusing. People love it. We have a lot of older people that move here, and, and this is one of the reasons they move here, is because they, they can do this every day. I love it. I love to, to get out in the, the country and see the, all the different places that we go to, and, and I love doing it, and I enjoy the people and getting them down here to take them out on these trails and show them this country down here in the south. It's a great time. All right. So now you have kind of an idea of the what, and boy, oh, yeah. No, 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 no honey, you gotta do it this way. You gotta do it this way. Like you're a race car driver. I do have it that way. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, why are you trying to make point off the road? Everything. everything, all right. <laughs> so now you have an idea of what the event is at the Tri-State OHVN Jamboree, and how much fun you can have, but still, we have to deal with the where. And that is a look at the trail and all the stuff that's out there. We'll get around to that in just a minute. What did you think so far? Well, you know, this place, this Tri-State ATV Jamboree, it's a big deal, as well it should be. There are so many people out here with so many wonderful rigs, and it's so much fun. The camaraderie is great, and if you've never done this, I highly suggest you put it on a bucket list because this is absolutely gorgeous. It's really a community event. It totally is. Yes cosmopolitan, interstate, and all those other big words. But we gotta head to our travel adventure. Ah, speaking of interstate and cosmopolitan.
Well, thanks, Chad. I'm Darren Kinder, and Jill and I are right on the border of Pennsylvania and New York, and we found this really cool motorcycle ride to take this brand new Harley Davidson out for a ride. So come on, let's take a look. We're here on the Pocono Mountains, and we're going to be riding right along the Delaware River up to the Hawk's Nest. And this is one of the premier places to ride on the East Coast. It's a real beautiful area. It's very scenic, nice drive through the trees. And then you get into this nice windy cliff road. So it's still a lot of fun and we really had a great time. It was an awesome ride. The road was fantastic for a motorcycle. It's a nice windy road and uh, not a lot of traffic on it. So you could drive along the road and you could see directly down onto the river. You could see kayakers down there. It was quite a ways down there, so it was a little intimidating, but it was never felt unsafe at all. Just a beautiful, beautiful scenery. That was the interesting thing. In Alaska, you had long stretches that you wouldn't see town or people or, or even animals of any sort. But in Pennsylvania and New York through there, uh, you'd see birds and animals and even deer and squirrels running around and of course people are all over the place. You kind of take your time a little bit more and you see a lot more things but I really like going through the trees and on the twi there's a lot of just twisty windy roads. There's hardly a straight road in, in everywhere that we went. It was all constantly turning which is really fun on a bike. Driving along the Delaware is there's all kinds of little touristy places to stop, little rest stops, uh, campsites, different things like that that have activities like whitewater rafting, kayaking, all of those kind of things. And so uh, we were able to stop, walk down to the river and play in the water a little bit and then get back on the bike and go a little bit further. I mean, we could hardly go 10 miles without stopping somewhere else to take another look. And the neat thing about that area though is that there's so much history. I sell houses and so <laughs> when I see a house that's 1700s, you know, I think, wow, that's amazing that they can keep those houses going and, and have people live in them. And, and then you come back here and you see a house that's 1900s and everybody thinks, oh, that's so old. And you think, no, not really, not, not relatively. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the, the time difference is so amazing. We saw Zane Gray's house. We saw this bridge and, and all of the stuff is like from the 1700s. Uh, you know, out west we usually see things that are, you know, early 1900s, maybe some 1800s stuff, but, but nothing as old as this stuff, you know, this is revolutionary times when all of these, where a lot of these historical signs are placed. It's fun to go out on a motorcycle with your wife or your kids um, because it's a real bonding experience. You know, you don't have radios, you don't have cell phones, you don't have all that stuff bugging you. And when, you know, anytime you go on a long hiking trip or boating trip and you endure things together, you know, you really bond well. You know, if you've ever been on a long hike with your family, you'll know there's nothing that'll bring you closer together or pull you further apart, but, um, but usually it brings you close together that you've made it through those things. And the more disasters you have, that's the stuff you remember the most. So that's what makes motorcycling so much fun. I do enjoy riding. Uh, I've been riding since I was little. My dad used to take me on trips. Uh, and so I guess Daring being into motorcycles as well has been awesome for me. He's trying to get to me to ride my own, which someday I promise I will. But for now, I enjoy being on the back because that way I can look around and see the scenery and just enjoy the wind and the smells and the sounds. And you can drive by a bakery and smell the smells and you can drive by a, a field of flowers and you can smell them. It makes the whole experience a, an entire package. If you'd like to do the same trip, you can go to BearMotorsportsInc.com and they can rent these things for a half day, full day, or, or weeks if you would like. And they have lots of different bikes there to choose from. Well, right now we need to get to a commercial break. Family, a simple word that carries more meaning than we can even understand. We base our entire lives around the smiles of our children and the moments that become cherished memories. At Ray City RV, we understand the importance of that family bond. As a family-owned business since 1946, we've been giving our customers the chance to make those memories in the backcountry of the West. 
Early spring savings on all Race City RV camp trailers, fifth wheels, and motorhomes can make it more affordable than ever before. Race City and Roy, turning dreams into memories one trip at a time. There's no deal like a no-brainer. And right now, that's what you're going to get from Arctic Cat. Get the best deals of the year on our performance-leading Wildcat 1000 at a no-brainer price of $12,999. Or our Prowler 700 Limited. It's a no-brainer at $10,299. It's the Arctic Cat No-Brainer Sales Event, and you can find it at Ship Cycle in Elko, Edge Power Sports in Draper, Off-Road Specialists in Fillmore, DMP Performance in Cedar City, and Plaza Power Sports in Heber. Arctic Cat, share our passion. A mountainside trail. A day of speed that pushes your limits. A desert oasis that opens your horizons. A land of horsepower for every taste. Tooele County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. I can't figure out this equation. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'm from Triple S Polaris. You missed the most important variable of all. Service to the power of three. We take service that seriously. Now, where is my Nobel Prize? Want to know what service really means? Come to Triple S Polaris. Service to the power of three. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here at the Snowmobile Sneak Peek. And this is all the new 2016 sleds that are gonna be available next year. And you can snow check them right now, but let's go check them out. It's not a snowmobile, but it looks fun. We're here in the Skidoo booth and I have Paul Weller from Weller Recreation in Camas. What's, what's new and great about the new 2016 sleds? Well, right here we're standing in front of a new model. Skidoo has teamed with Burton Snowboards and they've designed a, a machine specifically for snowboarders. The most popular machine is the Summit T3 that Skidoo has in its lineup. Right here is the yellow and black one. It comes with a 16 inch wide track and most other models come with a 15 inch wide track. And the thing unique about this is you can only buy it in the spring. You put a $500 deposit down now, take delivery in the fall, November, uh, but you cannot buy this machine in the fall. But I have Russ Debar here, he's the DSM for Salt Lake area for the Polaris Snowmobiles. Tell us all about the new Polaris. They look about the same, but you're telling me there's a few changes. There's a lot of changes. We've gone to a new chassis called the Axis. We had the Pro last year. Axis has lots and lots of changes. Some of the big things people want to know about, what'd you do with horsepower? We increased that. We've been up power to weight ratios up 15% versus a 15. And they've lightened them up. We're now 408. Quick things that you want to get access to there. All the compartments are on Velcro, so you can move them depending on what you, if you want to just keep one water bottle or two water bottles, two pair of gloves, your food, snacks, drink, whatever you want to do. Snow check this year is the best offer of the year. We're guaranteeing that in writing. You also get the golden ticket of $1,000 for next year. You get a four-year warranty, and you get some options you can't get any other time of the year. I wonder if I can snow check either one of these. Well, we're here in the Yamaha booth, and I have Tracy from Dick's Water Sports up in Clearfield, and he'd be, what, what's really cool about this next year's sled? Well, this is the new 2016 Mountain Viper uh, limited edition. You can only get it in the springtime. It's coming standard with the three inch track. It's got the new front end. It's got the new Fox Evolve shocks on it. The handling on this is extremely nimble, light. The track hooks up so hard, the sled just pops right up on top of the snow instantly. The only time you can get the LE models is on the spring deal. They're gonna get the uh, $600 in accessories money. They've got financing. I know there wasn't a lot of snow this year, but there's bound to be a lot next year. The East Coast can't steal all of our snow out here in the West. So get into one of your local snowmobile dealers and check out one of these new 2016 sleds. A lot of them have them in their showrooms that they can show them to you, but you'll get the best deal. You snow check one and then you'll get the sled you want for next year. Right now we got to get to commercial break. We'll see you next time.
It may look like the Grand Canyon, but it's not. It's this week's featured Utah State Park, the goosenecks of the San Juan River. The water has carved this immense canyon over the last 300 million years, and you can look out over a gorgeous expanse few people have ever seen. At Goosenecks, the views extend for miles. This is a primitive park and there are no hiking or biking trails, but camping is permitted as well as picnics. The photography opportunities are the real draw here. The day use fee is $5 per vehicle, overnight camping only $10. Gooseneck State Park is easy to find, about 25 miles west of Bluff, Utah, off Highway 163 and State Route 316 in the heart of the Southwest. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Confident, comfortable, capable, that's Ace. With a solo cockpit, automotive controls, independent suspension, all-wheel drive, and up to 45 horses of fuel-injected power. Calling it revolutionary would be an understatement. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit cedarcityayl.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic Southern Utah. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Corey Toon, and as Chad and Rhea mentioned, we're on the Castle Cliffs Trail. And I have had so much fun today, but let's see if everyone else is having as much fun as I am. Check that out. I thought it was awesome. I love the ride down because there really weren't any trails. It was a, we looked at it and went, really? <laughs> Would you rather be in school or would you rather be here? I would definitely want to be here. Tell me what it's like guiding this and why do you do this? We do it because we love to get out and ride. We love the country. We love to show people what we have down here. And we like to teach people how to ride safely and responsibly. And we just like to get out. Did you like it? Did you have fun? It was so awesome. The thing that's so cool is you see territory and beautiful country that you just can't see just driving down the road. You get to go through it. It's beautiful. What was it like to be the youngest rider here? Did you have fun today? you rather be in school or be here? Here. I am with you. One of the older gentlemen today, he schooled me about the area we're standing here. We are at Castle Cliffs, and this area right in front of me, right here, used to be an old gas station in the 1950s, and he told me they actually sold more water here than gas. The old cars then had a water bag on the front, and this was the only road from Las Vegas to St. George, and the cars needed the water to cool it down to get up this big hill here. We had so much fun today, we experienced some small hills and some big hills. And sometimes I felt like I found myself out in the middle of nowhere, but sometimes when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you find yourself. Now back to our trailhead adventure. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Rockport State Park, where the birds of spring have gathered to celebrate the end of winter. This is Liberty, our American bald eagle. This is Athena, the great horned owl. I've got Caloris. Caloris is our male red-tailed hawk. Hawks, eagles, and owls on parade to the delight of dozens of bird lovers at Rockport earlier this month. We actually stayed here at this campground last night, and uh, this morning woke up, did some fishing, uh, and then have, have come back and have just loved looking at the birds. I know the kids have loved it. It's been a fun day. Aaron Weeks brought his scouts from Troop 919 and Sandy to Rockport, but this trip isn't just for the birds. Obviously, the eagles probably the main attraction. It's the Day of the Eagles. It's uh, what brought us here in the first place. Hogle Zoo's majestic female bald eagle is the star of this show. Liberty was injured in the wild. She hit a power line while flying in Montana. And that was about 25 years ago. She was found by the Fish and Game Department up there. And they actually tried to release her back to the wild, but each time found her weak and starving. So she was deemed non-releasable and given to us for education. My favorite thing about the bald eagles is once he took the mask off of it, um, it started um, doing the call.
you ever thought you'd be that close to such magnificent birds? No, never. Cameras clicked and eyes peered through spotting scopes in hopes of finding a wild bird nearby. We did spot some geese and ducks, but Park City birder Dave Hanscom says the mild winter sent most of the eagles back up north early this year. They've been here, but not in as large numbers as usual. There's a bald eagle that's nested over in the Hannaford area in past years, and we're guessing that it's the same pair that's below the dam at Echo now. So. Ah. But a bird in the hand can be worth two in the bush, especially if you can get up close to a beauty like Caloris. And we got him in 1992 when he decided to have a fight with a barbed wire fence. And he lost, huh? And he lost. So he injured his left wing and we had to amputate his uh, flight feathers. But he's doing very well with us. He's our ambassador. You can tell that the yellow part on his nose is very yellow. That indicates he's getting a lot of nutrition, a lot of vitamins and minerals. If it's pale, you're not doing too well. Joe Donnell, head ranger at Rockport State Park, and his wife Kathy, a naturalist at Wasatch Mountain State Park, have education permits to keep raptors. Kathy, this speedy peregrine falcon, fastest animal on earth. And Joe with Athena, the female great horned owl. You can see this wing right here, uh, how it's just slightly deformed. So she can't fly, so we use her to do education mainly, teach people about, about raptors, what they do for the environment, how the positive impact they have on the environment. See, I mean, you can see she's got pretty good use of that wing yes, when she, she wants to. Yeah. Unfortunately, not enough to fly. No. So. Kathy points out the necessary specialized air duct system in the peregrine's head. That runs through his head and allows the oxygen to continue to flow. So when he is diving at 200 miles an hour, he can uh, continue to breathe. The Hawk Watch gang has brought a trio of neat birds. This is Artemis. Artemis? Huh? Uh -huh. What is Artemis? He's a western screech owl. But don't let Artemis's diminutive size fool you. With two toes up front and two in back, he has three to 500 PSI strength and can kill small hares, even ducks. Artemis was a real killer until a car hit him and forced him into educational retirement. It's just really cool to see all the birds and just see what they live in and what they look like. Salt Lake City-based Hawkwatch International has been dedicated to the study and preservation of raptors for over three decades. A lot of people don't realize if sometimes you are poisoning, like, say, rats and whatnot, you're also poisoning a lot of the raptors as well. So we try and advocate for, you know, more healthy choices, you know, that also protect the raptors as well. Eagles, hawks, owls, like people, are at the top of the food chain. Understanding and responding to their needs ensures a healthy planet for all of us. Reese Stein at your leisure at Rockport State Park. Put your year in gear during the Polaris XP sales event. Get rebates up to $1,000, financing as low as 1.99%, and more. Our most popular sportsman comes with a free five-year warranty. You could save up to $1,000 on accessories when you take home a Ranger XP. It's all part of the year's best deals on the world's biggest off-road lineup. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. Parents, let me tell you a little secret. Your kids do not want to go boating with the neighbors or with friends. They want you to take them boating. They want to build lifelong memories with you. Take them fishing, skiing, tubing, wakeboarding. Take them out boating. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. Are you pushing the limits of riding? Are you holding the steepest side hills? Carving the toughest lines in the deepest powder? the 2016 ski do sleds are you riding or are you watching ski do hello everybody welcome back 
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We had so much fun today out here at this Tri-State Jamboree. And well, as we talked earlier, we covered the who, what, and where, but now we're gonna cover the how. That's true, and that means that we only have two left after that. <laughs> the how we did today was in an Arctic Cat Wildcat Trail. And limited edition. Limited edition. It's been a really sweet ride today. I want to thank Articat for providing us with the machine. It was so slick. It really handled beautifully. And the nice thing about it is it's comfortable side by side and at 50 inches it fits through all the narrow trail. So we have yet left to talk about the when. So we're going to switch things up today and we're kind of kind of go to our calendar of events first. The very first one is our calendar of events that's a whole year in advance so that you can plan to be here next year for the Tri-State OHV Jamboree. It usually happens in the second week of March, okay? Perfect March. time to be down here, That's not true. too hot. Not too cold, not too dusty. Plan your calendars now. Registration usually opens in January and they usually do fill up before the date gets here. So put a mark in January, I'm gonna register, put a mark in March, I'm coming down here. We also want to mention the Fallen Peace Officers Memorial Ride taking place in Moab on April 18th. This is a great ride through the Red Rock lands of the Southwest and at every stop you come to a memorial to a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. It's a great way to experience these trails. Find out more at upoa.org. Now let's check out our AYL sticker winner. Chad and I actually caught this guy earlier today. Okay, here we are at the Tri-State ATV Jamboree and look what we have. That's right, a vintage AYL sticker. Carl is our winner. Congratulations, Carl. Thank you. You're, you know what? How long have you had that sticker on your truck? Over 11 years. 11 years. And this is the first time we spotted him, but yet he hung in there and he's our sticker winner. Congratulations, you won yourself a Camp Chef stove. Please call us at 801-947-888 to get that prize. And now it's time for us to do the uh, greatest part of the show. It's telling you that we're gonna do it yet once again next week. One more show, <laughs> take a look at what's gonna be on. In one week, Chad and Rio will be exploring an area of Utah that could be closed to motorized recreation by the end of the month. Where is it and how can you make your voice heard? It's an important issue. You'll want to watch the show. From there, we'll head to Colorado and go from the highest point to the lowest point and all of the adventure you can enjoy in between. It's all here on At Your Leisure in one week. Next week's show looks fantastic, but I don't think it can top this event. This was so much fun. I had so much fun with 500 of my favorite <laughs> outdoor friends. <laughs> Very good. And you know, we'll look for you here next week on At Your Leisure. And as we always say, you'll find adventure around every bend, but hear any of it sitting on your couch. Good night, everybody. See ya. Check this out. We're with the Chris Peterson Band. They're from Cedar City, and there's nothing better than country music in the desert. What do you think, Rhea? They're awesome. They're hot, huh? You can check them out at chrispetersoncountry.com. They're also on Facebook. So let's go dance, Rhea. Come on. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.